guys. Welcome back to more Roslyn. So I want to talk to you about emotions. Um, one of the things that I always wanted to learn in different cleanses and different things um, that would draw me into the medical community was how do you deal with the emotions? Because the emotions are what's triggering me to eat no foods. And I didn't ever have any answers, any really good stuff until today. I had some things, like I definitely did body code with Pam Gotcher. She was great. Um, and that was kind of just like a release. It wasn't exactly like, I can't just wait for, the, for a session. Um, I need something I can implement, something I can do. And so I had a session with my dear, loving practitioner, Kat. You can find her at catwb.com. I'll put her link below. And I had a session with her today and we talked about, we like talked through it. And I was telling her, I was like, you know, I just want the no foods. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to tell you what I'm wanting. I'm like, I just want a bologna salad. I have a place across the street. I know bologna's like, could be the worst me ever, but it's just, oh, I have it. It was, you'll love how I came to the answer and what was going on. So I was talking about this bologna salad and I just wanted it. And I said, and I asked at that moment, I said, angel of knowledge, please come in and give me the words for this. Or I, I think that's what I did. I'm pretty sure. And I said, I just love my dad. Like the bologna salad, the bologna just reminds me of my dad. And I don't even, my dad's still with me uh, physically here on earth. And I don't even understand it. I, I could almost cry, like, now just thinking about it. And I guess I just missed my dad. And so I decided to, um, we were talking about it, and, I, was, and I, we, I, I wrote down, I was like, what do you do when you want something? Like, why do you want this food? So that was what came up. It was like asking yourself, why? Do you want this food? Not that you want it and not that you're trying to tell it no. You're actually actually asking why. And it's funny because Janine Roth is who I'm learning in school right now. And she does some of this stuff. So if you want like a book that might could help you on some more stuff, she has like several. And so anyways, so I did that. And, and it was just, I just... Like, it just reminded me of my dad. And that's all I could think about with that bologna sandwich. And it has nothing to do with any of the crap that's been going on in my life. Not, like, not that I can consciously figure out. And so I just told Kat, I was like, I'm just going to call my dad after I'm done. And the more that I got to talk about the food and, like, why and the different things that were going on in my life, the less I craved that food. I didn't really care if I had the bologna. I just didn't understand it. I still don't understand it. But I have to share this with y'all because maybe you'll understand this and maybe this will help you. So I have to share it. So I just went through that whole moment. And sure enough, usually because sessions bump, sessions like energetically get me to work on myself. And I, apparently I don't do that enough or whatever. And usually I'm like, I've got to go feed this feeling. There's a feeling going on. I don't like it. And... I did not have to go feed the feeling. I did not have any no foods. I actually had a salad. It's funny. I'll show you because it's gone. I had a whole bowl of spinach, pineapple, strawberries, and orange juice squirted on top. With orange, uh, orange squeezed on top. And some blue, wild blueberries. And I ate that and that was good. And the fact that I ate it instead of ate it as a smoothie, I feel fuller and a little different. And... I have no cravings for the bologna thing. There's still some stuff coming up about it. There's still some things that I'll either go left or right with it, and that will be fine. And I'm not sure what all this is, but I'm going to keep praying and asking and, like, asking for a different way to find and figure out some of this magic and go on this path and asking God to lead me in a completely different way so I can get off this circle of no foods, yes foods, whatever foods, and start being happy. And no matter if I have the bologna sandwich or not, or have the bologna salad, just create it like a loving and peaceful meal. And that I'm blessed to have it. And, and just ask the angel of disarmament to come in. 
because I can't say I'm not ever going to have no food again. I don't, I don't know, but to be able to shift it enough so I didn't go for it and could change things and maybe like pause, it's a big deal. And even now, like I had a break in between clients and I am thinking about this and I just like, do I want to go get something? Do I not? Like all this stuff in my head that I really didn't want it to, that had no purpose. And I just sat here and was quiet. And then like after a few moments of being quiet, I was like, I have to share this with them. I at least have to get it out of my system into the computer and just share the magic. So Whereas there's several of us out there that are that have the no foods and, and beat ourselves up and go through things and and so I just sometimes we want you to pose the question like why do you want this certain one? Like what is it about the bologna? You know? And for me it was my dad. And I called my dad. We had a conversation. I gotta tell him I love him. It was no different. It was no not a, it wasn't like this big like, Ooh, that was it. When I thought it was gonna be. Um, it wasn't, but it was still just it was so weird to relate the food with the emotion and then like have the emotion without having the food. And I got to repeat that. So I had the emotion without having the food and I didn't take the food to feed that emotion and make it go away. I just had the emotion. I was like, I just kind of miss my dad and I really just miss my family and I miss being with my family in a safe and calm environment Instead of like, well, what can you eat? What can't you eat? What are we going to do? I'm so over all that. So just go be happy. Be happy now and like love life. And hopefully this video helps. And I love y'all. And I will see y'all on the next video. All right. Bye.